I'm not even sure where I'm going. All I know is that it's in a volcanic region 1.4 kilometers deep. This is it! The primary containment facility! I have a feeling all my answers are gonna be in there. Goodness gracious, what is that? You were captivated. A living, breathing Emperor Leviathan. PDA, look at that, she's got babies. They've been in this idle position for roughly a thousand years. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others try in vain to take. Hatching enzymes. Get ready for your midwife face, PDA. You're hatching some babies. I can find three of the five components right here in my garden. So, fungal sample. Any idea what that is? Nope. I guess we're gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> Together. Hello everybody and welcome back to the den. My name is Agita Hunter. I am your host welcoming you to the penultimate chapter of Subnautica without a clue. All right, I'm gonna have to address the reef back in the room right away. This baby took way too long to produce and yes, you heard it right, despite my previous promises, this is still not the last chapter. Okay, chill everybody, chill. I have a very good explanation for this, okay? Just hear me out. Ever since I approached this project being my second ever creative playthrough story and one of my favorite games of all time, I wanted to honor Subnautica with an epic tale of my own. So when I started on this last chapter, I just kept going trying to tie every loose end and in the process I let it grow bigger and bigger, typically tending to it like a gardener would do a tree and before I knew it, it had surpassed my wildest imagination and became its own thing. That one last chapter had become a beastly 90 minutes long video that upon revision I realized would be too much to be taken in one sitting. I have absolutely no clue where I'm going. So I made the conscious decision to split it into two videos. Chapter 13 and final chapter 14 are now both finished and uploaded to the channel, which ties into my next channel announcement. Uh oh, what's up? We now have a join button! <laughs> That's right, we are becoming big boy YouTubers and climbing the ranks with the membership section and everything. So starting today, if you wish to support the channel further, you can join for a nominal fee and get to watch my videos up to two weeks early and benefit from other perks as well. You can go watch the final chapter right now if you wish. Well, as soon as you're done watching this one, otherwise it will not make any sense to you. But again, this is completely up to you. It's just to support gestures that would be greatly appreciated. I'll be adding more perks and tiers to the membership area as we go along. But regardless, the video will be made available to the free section within a short period of time. And you choosing to be here to watch it is plenty enough reason for me to be super happy. Just make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be alerted when it does drop. You may want to keep an open mind for the upcoming part. As always, if you do like the video, please leave a like, comment down below, let me know what you think and let YouTube know that you're enjoying what you're watching so it does suggest the channel to more people and help it grow. So one more time without further ado, let me give you Subnautica without a clue. This is chapter 13. Enjoy guys. Sure you wanna do this? I'm sure I wanna get this over with. I feel compelled to state that this is a bad idea. Of course it is. I'm still going through with it. It's your funeral. Hey! Over here, big boy! That's right. Let's dance. We are located northeast of our base. We have not been here before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already assumed so, what with all the unfamiliar 
Well, everything. There are predators nearby. Of course there are. Wouldn't expect otherwise. Okay, fungal sample. I have a feeling today's the day. You said the same thing yesterday. A stronger feeling. Sure you want to do this? I just want to get this over with. I got one piece left to find for that hatching enzyme and we've been looking for a week. I don't think I have a choice there, fam. It's your funeral. <laughs> yep, most definitely is. Six days had gone by when you decided to jump down into the abyss in search of a botanical component. Sure wish I did have a choice, though. I mean, I'd be on a beach enjoying a tan right now, but I digress. Creepy and stress-inducing? Checks out. And there you go, right on cue. Yeah, no, you don't get to do that. You're done. Go find some whole fish to attack. I see bone sharks are as vicious as ever this time of year. Hey, hey! I said no. No means no, goddammit. Somebody should teach these guys about boundaries. You were in an area that you've never visited before. One that you'd later call the underwater islands. Think we might be a little bit overwhelmed here? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, no, thank you. What you didn't realize yet, though, was that this was just another area you would come out of empty-handed, as you had done for the past week. This place is a try at the crack fields, with volcanic activity as well. And if we didn't get enough of that, will you give me a moment's peace already? Regardless, you still needed to cross it off your list. You were running out of time. <gasps> Jeez, they're everywhere. Get lost, haven't you heard? I'm taking over. Hey, what's that? Oh, poor Luke, what did they do to you? There, sound as a bell. Hmm, these look fungal. Well, they look like broccoli, but close enough, no? <sighs> I guess not. All right, let's go. Well, to the old captain. Alas, by this time, you had been accustomed to this type of outcome and gotten into the habit of moving quickly. I find the quick shift between light and dark both fascinating and eerie at the same time. It's the water density in certain areas. No kidding. Hmm, looks like we made it back to the island again. All roads lead to Rome, I guess. We could use a resupply. <sighs> Fresh air. Okay, don't go wandering too far, Rain. I won't be long. That was a lie. This place brings back a bunch of bad memories. Set thrusters to fall. This is insane! No! Avery Quinn and the Sunbeam crew. Never forget these names. They gave their lives trying to get me out of this dump. Cheers to that. Let their sacrifice not be in vain. <sighs> you hadn't had a fresh meal in days. This took a while. <sighs> Let's hit the spot. Once dinner was over and you were properly restocked, you proceeded farther into the island in search of your target. I sincerely hope I'd never come back here again. Truth is, I'll have no choice but to come back here once cured to initiate the end of the quarantine. If I ever get cured, that is. You must keep the faith. I know. Hey, I've never seen this path before. Look, it's got alien pillars and everything. This leads somewhere. You are intrigued. You followed the newly discovered narrow path up the mountain. Yeah, this definitely got a purpose. Through intricate passageways. Interesting. No, seriously, what is this guy's obsession with caves? Ah, there's a way out. And all the way to the top. We're definitely high up now. Where you found yourself at the mouth of yet another cave. Won't be able to get Luke in there. Okay, buddy, you wait for me here. I'm gonna go check that out. Wait, is that another portal? How many of these did they make? I got a cube for you right here. Ow, you pain in the ass, cut that out. <laughs> okay, now I gotta know where this leads. Well, one way to find out, I guess. And just like that, you jumped into the portal without hesitation. <sighs> Okay. And emerged somewhere recognizable. Aha! This is the floating island portal. I was wondering when it would come into play since none of the ones in the facility link to it. So now both islands are connected. Convenient. I can use that. But now the day had already ended, 
which reminded you of the urgency of your quest. Alright, PDA, we've wasted enough time. Let's scan everything for anything remotely fungal, even if we already checked it before. Affirmative. There, a Java cup. That is not what we are looking for. Okay, no worries, next item. That night, you didn't get any sleep. Oh, speckled rattlers, these gotta be it. No, not that either. Come on, there's gotta be something here. That is not remotely fungal. Yes, yes, thank you, PDA. When the next morning rolled out, you were still nowhere near your objective. This is utterly stupid. How is finding fungal samples so hard? You were understandably frustrated at your lackluster effort. I can't find it anywhere. I know I've mentioned this before, but couldn't we at least try to make the enzyme without it? I mean, how important could this one component be? Clearly important enough that the precursors couldn't proceed with the cure without it. Ah, you and your logic. That's not what I need to hear right now. Sorry for being the one on point. Yeah, I don't want to hear that either. One thing was for sure. The lack of progress was getting on your last nerve. The next area on your list was the safe shallows. Okay, we're here. Remind me again what other zones we haven't checked yet. I can't imagine there's many left. That would be the jelly shrimp caves and the mushroom forest. Oh no, not the stupid caves again. Am I cursed to keep going back there every now and then? They're called jelly shrooms. We have to check them out. How about acid mushrooms? They're shrooms. That's not it. How can you tell? They lack the properties required as per the recipe. Damn it. Okay, that's it, I'm stumped. Why did the instructions have to be so vague about it? You were burnt out. Would it have been such a burden if they had included some sort of guidelines? We have looked everywhere. So much so that you didn't pay attention to what was going on around you. What? Rain, no, 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 come back here. This is toxic. Come back. <coughs> Rain, come back here. <coughs> oh my God. Rain, Rain, you shouldn't go near those things. They're dangerous. Just stay away from them. Look at you, you absolute menaces. I need a first aid kit. There's gotta be one here. Wait, what? Gas pod. I must have picked it up by accident. Maybe repurposed. Huh. You know what? I got an idea. You jerk faces might be useful after all. Let me just safely store these here. I'm gonna need the space. Uh, don't tell me I'm about to collect these creatures' farts. Oh, you were. It was the most hilarious thing. Really? You find this funny? You're weird. Fuck, that sucked. I'm gonna need to be way more accurate if I don't want to get reduced to tears and coughing. There, much better. And got one. Guess this is gonna be easier than I thought. Ha, gotcha! At first it seemed like it was indeed easier. Look at all that chatter. But then you got hit with the reality of it. Oh, another one. Careful. Oh, hey! What are you guys doing? You trying to tag team me? Oh, you guys think you're tough guys, huh? Ganging up on me? You guys are gross. You're so gross, look at you. Uh, you're the one picking up their defecation, buddy. Well, you did do a good job rising to the occasion. No, don't. Not funny. Come on, do it. Do it. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Oh, now you're running from me, huh? Not a chance, you fat ugly cow. You're mine. Oh, yeah. Look at all those pods. Now I'm the gas master. Wait, no, don't call yourself that. Yes, yes. Who's the big man now? I own you! By the end of the morning period, you had collected a substantial amount of gas pods. Yeah, that was a colossal waste of time. Collecting gas pods? What did I need these for anyway? Dude, that was so enjoyable. I haven't had so much fun in quite a while. <sighs> I'm pooped. Ah, shut up. You were, however, still far from reaching your goal. A fact you couldn't escape. I'm glad at least one of us is having fun. May I remind you that you have a fungal sample to locate? Right, right, you're right. Come on, let's get back on track. Yeah, about time. Okay, PDA, we're back in the cave. Acknowledged. Scan in progress. We're gonna need to make this as quick as possible. This place... 30 seconds. Oh my god, I'm about to drown! Where's the entrance? Really spikes my stress levels. Every single time we come down here, something bad happens. And Rain, you're going to stick to me like glue this time. Crab snakes could easily devour. Yep, you're not listening to me. Relax, you're going to be all right. Yeah, well, I'll feel all right when we're out of this pink abyss, PDA. So what do we need to do? Grab a jelly shroom sample? Affirmative. 
Well, we're certainly not going that way. You proceeded deeper into the cave in search of a safe spot to collect your specimen. Think this is a good place? And it didn't help that the very item you wanted to sample was a habitat to one very aggressive predator. The trick is to find one that doesn't have a sneaky one hiding inside. Like this one. Ah! No, 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 bad call. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Please accept my apology and peace off. Okay, that was some poor judgment. Gotta do better than this. Alright, no more mistakes this time. I'm quiet like a fox. Okay, this one's gone inside. Careful. Ah. Looks empty. Rain. Ow! What? I did this! God damn fighter! You know what? Let's just grab a sample and get the hell out of here. I'm not staying in this hellhole any longer. And just like that, you abruptly left the place. Hey, at least I got my sample. Did you now? Oh, come on. By the time you made it out, night had already enshrouded the ocean bottom. I don't know about you, these don't look right to me, PDA. I'm unsure this time around. I will have to conduct some research on them. Mm. I'd also like to inform you that we're on our very last charged power cell. Well, it seems about time to rotate back to the base then. How long has it been now? A week? Yes. It settles then. Home sweet home it is. After a full week, you had made it back to the tree cove. There, charging stations at full capacity. These few are gonna have to wait for now. Yep, looking good. Oh, we're back here. It's been a while, I missed this place. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Hey, Lucifer, I've missed you, buddy. You're the best Cyclops on the planet. I'm not even squitting. Oh, that was bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Is my humor not up to par with your knock-knock jokes? After ensuring that everything was in order, you redirected your attention to the pressing matter at hand. All right, what do you want me to do with that sample? Plant it in. Hmm. Okay, that's done. Now we need to monitor it for a bit. Nope, we are not doing anything. This is all you. I haven't slept in a proper bed in a week. Good night, Aggie. And thus ended your 77th day on a pleasant note. Gotta cherish those moments. They do not come around often. Your next day started bright and early, with a chore. That's two. Need one more. Swear to God. Uh, what? There's the stupid thing. I cannot believe I have to do this first thing in the morning. What am I on about this early in the morning? Oh, so now you think this is funny? It kinda is, yeah. What got my knickers in a bunch like that? Ah, Luz. Ever so reliable. What would I do without you? I mean, in the midst of everything I'm going through, it's gonna be something super important, right? Look at that mess. But again, I might be wrong. Apparently my trusty nuclear reactor can't handle charging a bunch of power cells at once. It's flickering like a broken flashlight. I can't even use my fabricator. Oh, I'm so wrong. Look at that. One rod's already gone. Surely you have enough extra power cells to not have to do that. I don't wanna hear it. Easy there, buddy. Don't pop a vein. After resolving your predicament, you proceeded with your morning plan as initially intended. Since we do have some time on our hand until you finish your analysis, PDA, I thought we'd test these little golden babies out. Uh, Rain, why don't you sit this one out? You know, get reacquainted with your siblings, how about that? Oh, I'm sorry kiddo, I just don't want to have to deal with you inhaling these fumes again. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. How am 
I going to do this? Let's see what happens when I release him. Oh, back up for safety. Nothing, apparently. No, wait. Aha! So they do burst open when they touch the water. But do they still have the same effect as when they were fresh? You can touch them and find out. No, what? I'm not going to touch them. Hmm. Gotta find a test subject. There you are, my aspiring candidate. Okay, now, just stay still. This shouldn't take... Ah, ah, ah. Come on now, stop playing. Look what you've done. You've missed a bunch of them. I like the way I make it sound like he's messing up. Not like I'm trying to kill him or anything. Why are you like this? You're awful. Sort yourself out, sir. Look this way. Yeah, this is obviously not working. I can't seem to get him to steer into the pods. We need a way to launch them at him somehow. You mean like a projectile? I could fabricate something for the prawn suit torpedo arm, if you wish. A toxic cloud torpedo? That sounds cool. And it does seem to have the same potent effect it did initially. I'll have the schematic ready at the moon pool fabricator when we return to the base. Hmm. Okay then, that concludes our testing. Let's head back. Back at the base, you went to check the options made available by PDA right away. Okay, that's the arm. It's a shame we never used it before. It does have very good potential. Wait, vortex torpedoes? Hmm, not sure what that does. Aha, there we are. Requires titanium and a gas pod. Gotta hand it to you, PDA. You made it super affordable. What? Ah, uh, come on, again? Really? That soon? You rusty piece of junk, what did you do this time? Ah, uh, I'm speechless. Why do bad things happen to good people? See, it's hilarious. All right, you've made your point. This is the last time I'm doing this today. You want to run out of power again? Be my guest. I'll just go live up in Lucifer. At least he doesn't put me through this crap. Are you done? Just about. Good, because my analysis is at 99% completion. Oh. If you're done with your little side project, I suggest we check the results. Oh. Look at it. This has got to be my least favorite plant on the planet. So, what's the verdict? It's not a match. <sighs> Are you certain? The formula outlines a specific mix of organic materials. The specimen is simply not right. Okay. So what's our next step? The mushroom forest is the only remaining zone with potential. All right, let's go then. You want to go right now? There's no reason to delay. And with a lacking sense of enthusiasm, but a strong sense of determination. You took off again. By midday, you had made it through the gateway to the mushroom forest. I took that rather well. The bit of bad news there. Well, there was really no reason to dwell on setbacks. The sooner you realized that, the easier the next step would be. I am 75% confident this is the right place. Oh yeah? What happened to the remaining 25%? What? Rain? I thought I told you to wait at the base. Are you ever going to listen to me? It's reading your anxiety. You gotta stop trying to tap into my emotions, girl. I'm fine. I promise. I have a good feeling about this. As soon as you made it into the zone, you felt a sense of comfort. This biome is one of my favorites. It was, however, short-lived. I'm sensing a leviathan presence in the area. What? Uh, that's a humbug. What is this doing out here now? The creature was hovering, not too far above, looking for prey below. Okay, PDA, I think this is our cue to hurry up. What do you need me to do? Please cut a sample of the mushroom tree. Right here, just like that? Affirmative. Okay, that's done. I'm not sure if that's what we need or not, but I do suggest we move things along. And without further ado, you got out of harm's way. Yeah, not a moment too soon. These monsters creep the hell out of me. And 
and inevitably... Are you certain? Positive. This is the actual sample we've been looking for for the past week? Affirmative. Oh, PDA, what a relief! I was so close to giving up! You could not believe your ears. Okay, okay, now what? We create the hatching enzyme. Yes, we do. Oh, you were cathartic. Finally! Not even trying to contain your happiness. All right, come on! Let's go, I don't want to waste any time. And waste time he did not. For this... The Emperor Leviathan's gonna be so happy! ...was the day you got cured. Wait, for real? No lie. Your memory of how you made it back into the containment facility was hazy at best. A thousand thoughts were racing through your mind. None of them had a definitive answer about what to expect. The Emperor Leviathan appears to be in poor condition. Oh dear God. Its vital signs are gradually fading. Do you think she'll make it? I highly doubt it. I'm sorry. Can we better hurry up then? Our mission is now to fulfill her last wish. This is for you, my friend. And you surely didn't expect what came next. Oh. oh my god. A miracle. A millennium overdue. <laughs> Stop squirming. <laughs> you were deluged with awe. Wow! You were taking part in a moment that was so unique. Oh, wow! It felt like time stood still. This is breathtaking. You wanted to lap it all up. But with new beginnings came an end. My young are swimming for the shallows. I Thank you. Their freedom is my end. Oh. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seeds to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Uh, I... no. What? You were speechless. That was not the end of it, however. There was one more surprise. Swimming into view. Hey! What's that? Oh! Is that what I think it is? Ew, feels funny. Yuck. Yuck. Get off me! Whoa! <laughs> Pity, what just happened? I'm not sure. Initiate a self scan. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining signs of bacterial infection. Wait, wait, what? Are, are you certain? Positive. Oh my god. I, I, I'm cured? PDA, please do not get my hopes up if you're not 100% on this. You are 100% unequivocally cured. Oh my god! I'm a... Whoa. Remain calm. Are you experiencing confusion? Uh, no. I'm not. Do you remember your... I'm fine, PDA. Oh. I didn't lose my memory this time. I remember everything. That's new. It is new. What's that about? Thank you, my big friend. For everything. I, along with the rest of the planet, owe you our lives. You can rest easy now. You've done enough. Once you were done paying your proper respects, you stepped through the portal and were greeted with a pleasant view. Oh my god, 
Hi! Look at your handsome lads! <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. What happened back there? What's there to get? Once you got cured, the TGA was gone. The TGA was linked to my disease? So it wasn't the panel hitting my head that caused the amnesia? I never said that was the case. Wait, but I thought you... What? One thing was for sure at this point. You were now disease-free. And there was only one item of business left to take care of. In this regards. the structure is shutting down. Wait, it actually worked? Did we just decommission the entire platform? No more gun. I can leave whenever I want. But how? You had absolutely no idea how to answer that question. An issue that would prove rather... Arduous. Scans indicate that the quarantine enforcing gun is now inoperational. Guys, it's time. We've been given a second chance. <clears throat> I'm so tired. What do you reckon it is now, midnight? Almost 2 a.m. Oh, wow. And you've been piloting this submarine for over six hours non-stop. Yep. A bit of time had passed since that day at the platform. Well, it sure feels like it. My legs are numb. I don't even know how you do it. Uh, let's not give me all the credit. Lucy's doing most of the work here. I'm just a captain. You are the best captain on the planet. I'm not even squidding. Ha! Someone appreciates my sense of humor. Look. Uh-oh, I know that, Don. I know what you're doing, but do you mind telling me why you're doing this? You were on a mission, of sorts. What do you mean, why? We've done four out of the five, and you're just asking now? That was before you decided to venture deep within the dunes. There are Reapers all around us. Hey, I'm not the one who decides where they are. I just want to make sure everything's okay. Well, let's hope we are okay after this. We've got company. What? Oh, 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 not to worry. I got a plan. I got, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, I, I, we got this. First, uh, shields up. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and throw out the decoy. Deploying decoy. And... See? There you go. Easy. No sweat at all. And you seem to have everything meticulously calculated. That was 79% luck. What? Give me some credit, will ya? I got everything under control. Hmm. You know what? I'ma go ahead and put another decoy in the chamber. You never know. Okay, that's done. Now back to bigger matters. And it did pay off. Oh, oh my god, PD! There he is! Fifth hatchling located successfully. Yes! Status appears to be healthy, just like the others. Look how big he got! He's positively ginormous! <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Ah, there you are. Such a big boy. I can also confirm that the area within a three kilometers radius is completely free of infection. That's great news, BDA. 
Alright, you know what? We got what we wanted. I say we don't press our luck any further and leave before something really bad happens. What? Uh, that's a bummer. Seems our friend is back. I hate to be the bearer of more bad news, but we're also on fire. Right, right. Thanks for the insight, you two. Fire suppression system should take care of it. This is why we installed it, right? Oh my god, what's wrong with that dude? Why is he so obsessed with fun washing us? Fire extinguished. Air scrubbers initiated. See? Everything's under control. Now let's just use another decoy. There. We're fine. Problem with calculations is... There is always a margin of error. Whoa, whoa, what? Another one? Vehicle attacked by multiple Leviathan class creatures. What? It ignored my decoy! I don't understand this! Since when do Reapers attack it back? Lucifer, you better brace! Oh no, this is bad. It all happened very fast. Integrity. Look. There is another fire in the engine room. What? So soon? Suppressor's still on cooldown! Well, we have to do something. Do what? You didn't know what to do. Uh, uh. Warning. Our integrity. Critical. Aggie. Uh. Your brain was numb. Frozen. What? And what about the meticulous calculating you talked about? There was only one thing to do. What the hell are you talking about? We're deep underwater in very hostile territory. I'm about to lose my submarine. Alphavia imminent. Abandon ship. Ah, God damn it! <laughs>